Hey guys and gals, I have a five package mail day of all PWEs. I'm going through my back packages I need to get through and I decided, well, I knew I had a couple of them. I said, I'll just put them all together at once. That way, if I have some disappointment, it'll all be in one video and get it over with. Hopefully these are all, you know, dollar or two dollar card, nothing too pricey and nothing gets damaged i hope because i have had expensive cards sent in pwe's i had a graded card sent in a pwe a sammy sosa psa 10 matter of fact it didn't make it cracked all in a zillion pieces so we'll go from the smaller size we'll say the bigger envelopes for last i have no idea what's in any of them first we start with a Donruss. Got the nice shiny uh, silver with gold lettering. These are not numbered. Can't tell by looking on eBay if some of them do not have the shininess to it, if it's just regular. But of course, it's my guy, so happy to have it. Next. Let's see, here we go. We have a Jay Cutler out of five, and it was sent in a PWE. Uh, four out of five. It's from 20, was it 14? Yeah, 2014 certified. Now, you would think in a card like that, it would be sent. And he actually used first class tracking and everything. But the cheap bastard stuck it in a PWE instead of using a bubble mailer. Lovely. At least this one put non-machinable. Okay, we have another McMahon. This one is out of 50. From... With the blank, or the black back, or blank back with the, who knows what they, they've got so many. I believe this is this year's one. They kind of look, yeah, 2017's. Jim McMahon, very happy to have it. This one did the old paper trick. Let me put a piece of paper. And another McMahon. This is the Redback. I already have a couple of these, but I'll get around to getting them graded and got it on the cheap. So, let's see if he included on here what I actually... Nope, he did some kind of project thing. I don't know, he used, used some junk filler paper. Usually the, the ones that do send paper print out your buyer's thing. Probably like what this one did. Okay, and this one, <laughs> we have a Metal Captain's J. Cutler Black. And let me tell you, it's heavy. How many stamps did he put on it? Uh, one forever stamp. And look, maybe he metered it with something else. Uh, is it numbered anywhere? I guess. I guess not. Now, you can turn it and it's really hard to see in person. I got the light hitting it so you can see it right there. This is the Metal Captains. And it's a quite heavy card. And it's from 2014. Black. Give me these. Yeah, I put all four of these together. And this one's way heavier. It's those four and probably another four. Maybe even more. But thanks for watching, guys. And I will talk at you later.